Hi everyone, I'm Anna Golosky. Those of us who have 2020 vision might take our eyesight for granted, I know I do, but an optometrist will tell you that there's more than meets the eye when it comes to your eye health. We spoke with one to give you the I do's and I don'ts. Take a look. Dr. Jessica Hartwig sees patients of all ages. And all I want you to do is just look right down at the end of the room. And reading off letters on a screen is just one of the many eye tests performed. We check things like their prescription, so their refractive error, to see if they need any glasses or contacts. Um, we check convergence, eye muscles, pupils. Um, then we usually dilate patient's eyes so we can take a really good look at the inside health of their eyes. Genetics, she says, can play a role in eye health, but it's not always the case. Two of the main ones that we see are glaucoma and macular degeneration. Um, so those can have a genetic component associated with them, but it doesn't necessarily mean if your mom or your grandma had glaucoma or macular degeneration that you will get it as well too. She says the problems could start with blurry vision. So one of the main things that people will come in complaining is that their vision is getting blurrier. It's hard for them to see road signs. They get headaches when they're reading eye strain, eye fatigue, so those are all you know, good indicators that maybe there's a change in that prescription or refractive error that glasses or contacts could help with. Um, but I still recommend a yearly eye exam for patients that don't have those symptoms either. So even if you have 20-20 vision, there are more things that we check for than just good vision. We check the eye health, we check your eye muscles, um, we check for things like amblyopia and strabismus. So lots of different things that we can catch on a normal two. eye exam. Two. Two. Okay, so there's obviously a lot of eye myths that are out there on the internet. People read them and they tend to think, oh, this is how I should you know, take care of my eyes. I shouldn't go to the eye doctor. Let's go through some of them. Sitting too close to the TV will hurt your eyes. It is a myth, um, but it can be a sign that kids can't see the TV as well too. So it is important to check to make sure that they're not farsighted, nearsighted. Um, so make sure that they don't need any glasses, but it is a myth. What about reading in the dark? Can reading in the dark damage your eyes? That's a complicated one. Studies are now showing now that the blue lights that our tablets and our phones emit um, can disrupt our circadian rhythm. So, you know, messing with our melatonin. So then we don't get that good sleep that we need. Um, and also new studies are coming out that blue lights affecting the macula of the eye. So causing things like macular degeneration. So I would say yes, that would be a true thing now. Is it okay to stare directly at the sun if you squint? Absolutely not. And so actually if you stare at the sun, you can get a thing that we call solar maculopathy. It actually burns the fovea of the eye and causes permanent central vision loss. Some of us stare at a computer screen a lot. So do you think that's something that's worrisome? Can we um, ruin our eyes by staring at the computer screen? When we're on the computer, we don't blink as much, so our eyes tend to dry out a lot sooner, which can cause things like dryness, eye fatigue. So usually what I recommend and tell my patients is to take a break every 20 minutes. So I recommend keeping a bottle of artificial tears next to your computer, so every once in a while you can take a break, blink a couple of times, put in some drops of artificial tears that will just refresh your eyes and you know help with that dryness that you can have. Dr. Hartwig also warns of a rising trend, websites that offer online eye exams. She says you won't get the correct diagnosis and you may be spending money on prescription glasses that aren't right for you, which in turn could hurt your eyes. She says it's best to see an optometrist in person to get the correct diagnosis. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org, and as always, sign up for your daily dose of news. Deliver it straight to your inbox. For the council, I'm Anna Dolosky.